What is up guys, it's Caleb from Meta Jungle. And today I'm here to talk a little bit more about NFL All Day and talk about another one of their playbooks that I just kind of jumped in and, and tried out. And that was their daily activity playbook that ran from May 3rd to May 17th. So let's go ahead, jump right in and see what we were able to accomplish with this playbook. So to start off, I'm at NFLAllDay.com and I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the play tab. And then I'm gonna select the daily activity playbook that is available. Now this is set at the lowest difficulty, so we should be able to easily complete it. Now let's check out some of the rewards that are listed for this pack. First, we see here that for 30 yards, we have a single moment pack that contains a common moment from series two. Next, for 80 yards, there is a single moment pack that contains likely a common moment, but there is a chance that it's a rare. For 100 yards, there is a draw it up moment for DeAndre Hopkins that features his first touchdown from his rookie season. And the rarity of this moment is going to end up being determined by how many collectors reach 100 yards. And then for 120 yards, there is a reward of $5 of dapper balance. So the way that this works is that each day there is a single challenge to complete. Scrolling down here, you can see that I already got 10 yards just by logging in. But unfortunately, I missed the first challenge in this playbook, the challenge for May 3rd, so that's 10 potential yards that I lost. But let's not focus on that, let's go ahead and just go and complete the challenge for May 4th. This challenge requires that I pick my favorite legendary moment. Now this does not mean that I have to own a legendary moment, I just pick from the pool of legendary moments that All Day has created. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this Patrick Mahomes legendary, submit it, and now I have another 10 yards. Now I just have to wait until the next day to complete the next challenge. Now I'm back on May 5th and here's the next challenge which requires us to pick our favorite ultimate moment the same way that we picked a legendary moment the day before. So for this one we're going to pick the Kansas City Chiefs team ultimate moment, submit it, and we have another 10 yards. That already puts us at 30 yards total, which means that we will earn the reward of a single moment pack containing one Series 2 common moment. Now moving on to May 6, our challenge is to submit a moment of a quarterback from my collection. So I'm going to submit this Marcus Mariota moment, lock it in, and that's another 10 yards for a total of 40. On May 7th, we need to submit a moment of a running back from my collection, so I'm going to submit this Isaiah Pacheco moment lock it in, and there's 10 more yards that put me at 50 total yards. Now we're going to go ahead and jump to day 6 in our challenge, which is May 8th, and I have to select either a wide receiver or tight end moment from my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this Vernon Davis moment here at the top, lock it in, and now I'm at a total of 60 yards after that challenge. Now we're here at May 9th, which is day 7 of the challenge, and this time I need to submit a moment from my collection of a defensive player. So we're going to choose this Kindle Fuller moment, lock it in, and now I'm at a total of 70 yards, just 10 yards away from another reward pack. Alright, so it's day 8, and we need to create the perfect lineup. That means that we need to choose a combo of a quarterback, a running back, and a wide receiver or tight end from moments that NFL All Day provides for us to choose from. So for this, we are going to start by choosing Patrick Mahomes as our quarterback. Then we'll choose Saquon Barkley for our running back. And for our wide receiver, let's see. Um, I'm going to keep scrolling here. I'm not really seeing anything too special. Let's keep scrolling and loading more, more selections. And Okay, let's go ahead and go with Stefan Diggs. Now, I'm pretty happy with those three players. So let's go ahead. We'll lock it in. And that's another 10 yards. And now we have enough yardage for another reward pack. Okay, so we've gotten two packs so far, but we still have more challenges to complete. For day nine, we have to submit a moment from our collection that has a rookie year or rookie mint badge. So for this one, we're gonna choose this Jaquan Brisker rookie moment, lock it in, and we have 10 more yards, and now we're just 10 yards away from that draw it up DeAndre Hopkins reward. All right, well, unfortunately we missed another day. We missed day 10, but we can jump right back in on day 11, which is May 13th. Now, today we have to submit a moment from our collection of our favorite team. 
And I'm actually going to go with and use this MVS moment. I'll lock him in. And with those 10 more yards, we are now at 100, which means that we will get that DeAndre Hopkins draw it up reward. All right, we still have another reward that I can achieve, and that's that $5 of dapper balance. So for day 12, we need to submit a moment from series one, which consists of moments minted for and during the 2021 NFL season. So we're gonna choose this Vita Vey series one moment from my collection, lock it in, and now we are just 10 yards away from that final reward. And now on day 13, I have one final challenge to complete for my final 10 yards, and that is to submit a moment from series two, which consists of moments minted for and during the 2022 NFL season. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose this Legereus Sneed moment from my collection, I'm gonna lock it in, and now I've completed the final challenge that I need in order to get 120 yards and get that five free dollars of dapper balance added onto my account. So while this playbook took a long time to complete and was kind of tedious, I was able to come out with three new moments as rewards and even a little extra dapper balance for the future. But make sure to stay tuned as I'll be opening up those rewards here very soon. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to follow both me and MetaJungle on Twitter and make sure and go and hop in the MetaJungle Discord. Also, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and keep coming back here for more awesome content. But again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.